gorgeous people and welcome back to a brand new vlog starting with a little fresh face today i've decided not to put on a makeup on today because i'm gonna head on over to the gym very soon but i wanted to pick up the vlog and start off this little journey with you because it is cat week it is cat week oh my god if you know me and are a subscriber here you know i am a cat lady through and through i've talked about it on my goal videos i've talked about it in general how much i love cats and my older cat oreo that passed away last year and i'm super excited for tomorrow which is tuesday today is monday happy monday you'll be seeing this on sunday so happy sunday um, but it is monday it's monday the 8th of april and I've had a morning of sorting out my Instagram, sorting out some content, proper redefining my goals, redefining my energy, and proper putting my energy into my content with everyone and helping everyone and like positive affirmations, which is what I'm all about, you know. If you are new here, hi, my name is Fiona and I upload every single Sunday either manifestation content, vlogs, lifestyle, but basically daily quotes and inspirational bits that help us to push towards our goals and life and just enjoying life in general, what makes us happy, what makes us sad and just really resonating with one another and just uplifting each other because you need to be in that environment that uplifts one another and I am so excited because if you're a cat person as well then you'll love this video. I'm so excited guys. I have wanted a cat for the longest time. I'm such a cat lady, like I said, through and through. Year of the tiger, all that jazz. But I'm so excited. So basically how this come about is my mum's neighbour, Beverly. She had a litter of kittens from a British shorthead cat that she owned. Can you believe I've already started the story off like this? If you've seen my videos, you'll know. So basically she had a British short hair cat that had some kittens and she said, do you want one? Like, do you know I'm selling them? Um, do you want one off me? And I was like, I'm an Aryan. Um, so, because I think around this time, like, I think Oreo passed away around this time or before that time or after that time. So it was one of those where I was either already had a cat or my cat passed away and I wasn't in the energy of like oh do I really want another cat right now um etc I'm making a big deal of this because it is a big deal to me like it is a big deal to me I'm such a cat lover I'm such an animal lover I love my chickens and so basically Beverly my mum's next door neighbour said oh, I've, got, I've got quite a few cats so do you want one um and so me and Luke went to go see her her name's Princess at the minute. <laughs> That's um, her grandchildren, I think, named her Princess. But we might change it. She said um, it's happy to change it. And I don't know. I'm, I'm still... I'm thinking I'm going to keep Princess in it, but not, like, as her first name, etc, etc. And we went to go see her, I think, on Saturday. So it's Monday today. So we saw her Saturday, which was two days ago, basically. And we're picking her up tomorrow, which is Tuesday. So on Saturday, we went to go get some cat stuff. So I basically got some basic cat bits. So it's not like, wow, this is going to be a cat haul. But I got some like catnip and like this cutest cat bed. So it's like a random cat haul. Look at this cat bed. So this is all from B&M. So I just picked up some like cat bed. Um, I picked up just some like cat litter, cat food. Um, but I will like, so I've just got some bits now that are like temporary and then I'll upgrade her just so I can know what she likes or if her cat letter is too small or her cat letter is too big. She is a quite a chunky queen. So it'll all be revealed in this vlog. I'm just explaining to you that she's also three years old um, and she is like, a, I think she's a British short head cross. She's a cross with a stray before they had her neutered. So she's a British shorthead cross, but she basically is so chunky, guys. She's so chunky. She's so, like, beige grey. She's so cute. And so we haven't settled on her name, but I really like the name Lily. And I kind of had the idea, and I've had of other people, why don't you just call her, like, Princess Lily? <laughs> so I'm honouring, obviously, the former name, but also got my own name, but we'll call her Lily. Lily is um, an indoor-outdoor cat. 
so she's got to be indoor of course for I don't know how many weeks if you can let me know down below that'd be great I don't know how many weeks to keep her inside for but before she gets settled um, and then I'm just a bit worried about letting her outside as well so all's gonna be in this vlog bringing Lily home but I'm just so excited so we've got some cat bits for her We're trying to make her settle got some catnip and then I'll order some stuff online once she's settled in and once I know what she likes because I don't want to buy loads of stuff for her and then she doesn't like it so ah guys I'm getting a cat this is so exciting I want well, me and Luca getting a cat but she is going to be my absolute baby my absolute queen and so this is a really nice thing to do and experience with <clears throat> Luke as well because I got sort of stuck on my throat then because he knows how much that I've always really wanted another cat and yeah it's gonna be our little baby together Princess Lily so we're really excited so plans are for now I'm gonna head on over to the gym I just wanted to be like hello this is gonna be the vlog head on over to the gym let's get into today's vlog or today and tomorrow's vlog picking up my cat or our cat i keep saying my because she's gonna be my little princess basically she'll be my princess because that's her name also my princess lily but she's bound to love luke more i bet you i bet you that she'll love luke more but this is really exciting for me so i hope you enjoy this little journey this little vlog and i'm gonna go ahead and head on over to the gym now yesterday there was sun in the It's got, uh, the cat's got the... Can you see her? Yeah, I don't know. Do you want to show? Do you want to have a look, guys? Have right. a look. Yeah, so this is the setup. Don't know if you... We yeah, you can't see the cat. Over, oh, a tower. Can you sort of see the cat? She's really heavy. Yeah, she's extremely heavy, but we're going to keep this on just so she's chilled out a bit. Yeah. Can you see her? See her? You can see the colouring on her? Yeah, you, you can see the colouring um, on yeah, her. Yeah, so she can see her. That's it. Oh, look, you see it from this angle. Oh, babe, look, you see it. There you go, you can hear. Hello, baby. What's the matter with you? I'll put the blanket back on her. There you go. So we're doing that just to try and chill her out for a bit, so. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going to chill her out while we're on the way the to home. Babe, should I put the seatbelt um, on? I would. Right, just in case. So we'll go home. <laughs> What? Put the seat, uh, bloody seatbelt on. <laughs> and we'll uh, lay around one of the So we've just brought Lily inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the door, let her come out at her own time and we'll see how that goes because she's got a lot of environment to get used to. So this is the bedroom, my bedroom and she's going to be introduced into here and then she can go as she pleases into the hallway. Am I closing all the door and this door here? Uh, no, we'll leave, uh, we'll close it for now. I will do, just in case. We'll close it for now. I'm just saying that we're gonna. Maybe we'll cuddle up in there. She, she might just want to stay in there, babe. I'll take both of them off. Oh, is she nice and comfy in there? She is comfortable in there. She is breathing, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh my god, you've got to see this. 
Oh, She's literally like all cuddled in there. Hello, Lily. Hello. Oh, hello, baby. Oh. So she's just got to get used to it. Oh my god, look at her. We just got to leave her to it for a bit, haven't we? Oh. <laughs> oh no, babe, don't, babe, don't rush her though, babe. Have you given her any of them treats? No, I was going to say, she'll give us some treats for that. Give them to you, yeah. Give her a treat. Just, just, put, just put them in there, babe. I would. What, put them in there? I'll try and give her one. Yeah, one or two. You don't want to brush her, though, babe. I think she's just a bit... Has she been sick? Chill her out or something. No. Why is she on the They smell a bit pongy. What they do? You're brave putting your hands in there, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, she looks so cosy in there! Uh, honestly, babe, I'll just let her chill. Do you want to put her on top of the, the no, puff? No, we won't put her on top of the puff. No. Well, she has a freak out. Yeah, just in case she doesn't want Yeah, by the way, these are what we've got. I know I showed yeah. you before, but hopefully it calms her down a little bit. You can see her head through <laughs> there. You can see, look, you can see, you can see her head through there. No, just go back. You can't, You can't, babe. Well, I'm trying yeah. to be quiet. Just pet her. She's like this. Get out! Get out here now! Oh, she's looking at you though. At least she's looking at you. Sorry, baby. Oh, that's it, baby. Oh yeah, you like a little bum scratch. Oh, she's just taking up the whole camera screen with her butt. <laughs> You're like a, a She might come out in a few. A few minutes. Oh, honestly, or hours. I, yeah. Yeah, but to be fair, babe, at least she's chilled. This is like, do you know what I mean? Well, she, she will eventually come out, won't she? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't see her, but she's literally like looking in the mirror there. Yeah. What are you looking at? <laughs> uh, bless you. I can't go. All you can see is an eye. Oh, I hope I'm not scaring her. Hello, baby. Like, Hello. <laughs> oh, babe. <laughs> How would you like it if I moved you all the way to Australia and started throwing a camera at your face? <laughs> <laughs> Lily! Oh, Jesus Christ. What have I been doing? Oh, you. What's Calm in music out? for cats. You're going to come out and say hi? No. She just winked. Did she? She like said, that. just going to let her chill. Come yeah. out in her own time. Yeah, let her chill. She's letting her stroke her, so she'll be alright, won't she? Yeah, she's, oh my god, she's letting me stroke her so much. Um, she's just a really chill cat. Here it is, let's have a look. Oh, hello, fluff ball. Hello. Hello, Miss Lils. Oh no, we should have kept her in now. Oh no, she's gone oh, behind there. Put back. Oh no, babe! She can't go behind there. Well, she's behind here now, if you can see. So let's get her back in here. I don't know if you're going to be able to, come are you? Come on, Nils. Back in here. Nils, you're going to come back in here. Oh, babe, she's not going to be comfortable down there, is she? Oh, this Nils. is where it's going to kick off. <laughs> Nils, come on. Can't do this. Can't park there, How does she even get down there? Oh, here she is. That's it. Oh. oh there you go. Nice and chill. You don't have to worry. I wonder how it looks with the kids. Let's put her back in the carrier. I would do. Oh. She purring? She's so cute. That's it. You're not, you're not even holding her, are you, really? No. She looks like seeing Cosmo Cardigan. Yeah. I've got to be honest, you're a lot braver than me because I wouldn't put my hands down there. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, do you want to go somewhere a bit more quieter? Can you pull the cat carrier around? Yeah. Have you got the things on? 
I'll be I'll just put it back in there for now if she, if she'll go back in. That's it. Oh, well, she doesn't want to go in there now. Isn't she? Okay. Okay, let's just chill out a bit. That's it, little. You're so chill. You can't go anywhere else now. Chill. You can't go anywhere. You can't hide anywhere, so you're just going to have to suck it up. <laughs> and you. <laughs> Look at this in the car, you? you can't hide anywhere. So, after the palaver. <laughs> Oh, basically, we shouldn't have really taken her out that fast. No, no, no. No. So we put her in the TP tent, um, and she's absolutely fine. She's a little bit of a wonk, but she loves it in there. I've never seen a cat jump in there so fast. You can't even see her through there. No. No, she got in there so fast that you couldn't even pick up the camera. Now you can see her. Oh, yeah. So we put her on there just for some height. Yeah. She'll be alright, she just needs to get used to it. She needs to get used to it. I think we've just got to let her get used to it. Mm. Yeah, she'll be fine though. We'll see how she gets on in a few hours, but I don't know where we want to play. Huh? Like music. Music wise, I don't know. She put on the cat music back on. Do you know what? I've already feel like I've got cat hair on my mouth. <laughs> Bless her. Let her get settled. Have a little chill in the TV tent because she really likes it. That's a good, good sign though. It's a good indication that she likes TV tent, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. Do you think she's settling in well? Yeah, that yeah, she is, yeah. No, she's absolutely fine. Yeah, she just wants to uh, hide. Uh, yeah, and have a chill, really. I think so. that's what the TP tent is best for, really. Now, just a little Lily update. She is still in the TP. She loves it in there. I think she's just actually she having a nap in there now, she's either napping or she just wants to be in a little dark space. Um, she's had a look around where we just wanted to have a look around, let her see her new environment and then now she's back in her safe space, I don't want to be in the cat carrier um, because that's not going to be like her chill space and I think that sort of traumatised her as well because of the car journey, it was only a 10 minute um, drive here. But she's in her little TP ten. She doesn't mind being stroked or anything like that. So she's happy with that. But she's just having a little chill in the corner there. And see how she gets on and just let her come out in her own time now. So I'm just gonna still sit next to her and hopefully give her some reassurance that it's all okay. Yeah, she's so so sweet guys like oh my god she's the sweetest thing ever and i can't wait for more cuddles because that was so cute having a little cuddle off her hello wednesday just doing a little check in i finished work and i'm back home it's coming up to 5 p.m i'll give you a little lily check up so i've come home unfortunately she hasn't eaten anything and she hasn't even been to the ladies room yet so i'm a little bit worried she's just still very frightened still getting used to everything getting used to the smells i'm not doing any like perfume or anything like that in the room but obviously i've got it on me like when i'm outside like what i do in my car and other bits like that so i don't know if it's just the smells but she's just getting used to it and i have done a lot of like youtube videos being like how long does it take for my cat to settle in yeah, I'm a little bit worried. I've got treats and everything to stimulate her. I'm gonna give her more cuddles tonight. But I, oh my God, guys, I love cats. I'm so happy with her. She's the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna try and get her out and give her a little cuddle now. Um, just give her some more interaction and see how she gets on. But yeah, I'm a little nervous that she hasn't eaten anything yet. So just keep stimulating her in the environment, like being next to her, showing her everything. And hopefully by the end of this week she'll be a little bit more herself. It is all guys, she is so cute. She is the sweetest fluff ball. She's just literally like a crevice. It's okay, Lils. Well, Lil, she's so fluffy. And she thinks she loves her TP tent the most. If I get her TP tent. I'll show you when she goes into it, if I can. So this is her TP tent. Sorry, Lils. Here you go. Oh, <laughs> she struggles to get into it. Oh, bless her. You stay there, Lils. Oh, guys, she is literally the sweetest thing. You see her, little Lils. Okay, little Lils. I know. Let 
let you chill out, okay? God, she looks almost evil there. <laughs> My little Miss Lils. Love you, darling. You're so cute, aren't you, Miss Lils? Oh. Okay, I'll, I will check in with you. I will check in with you to see how she gets on. But she's just a little bit nervous at the minute. Hey gorgeous people, happy Thursday and time for another little Lily check-in. So, about last night. So, Wednesday evening, Lily, we both felt like she came out of her shell. We were giving her cuddles, we got her out of her little hut, her little safe space. Giving her lots of cuddles, lots of fuss. And she was purring, she was opening up to us, she was just exploring without hiding and it was really really nice to see and yeah it was absolutely really like a turning point that we felt like she was finally just settling in to her new environment she was in a blanket she was like cuddled and then we put her back into a hut because that's her safe space however miss lil still hasn't ate anything yet she's had some treats which is good but she still hasn't been to the ladies room as well so i've messaged um beverly the former owner about what like cat litter she was on maybe it's that maybe it's the food so she's given me her food details as well which to be fair i should have had the food details previously but i'm pretty sure she has the same wet food but it's just a dry food uh, but she hasn't touched either so we've had to get rid of it and i've given her more dry food uh, so it's just a bit like that's the only stressful part however i'm chilling with her right now she's having a lovely little nap in here somewhere miss lils where are you miss lils there she is hi can you say hello to everyone hi you have a little chill. She's so cute, guys. Like, oh my god. Oh, bless. It's okay. That's it. Oh, guys. She, she's so cute. I just love cats. Ever since um, my little girl Oreo passed away. If you've been around that long, I've literally just had a little cat shaped hole in my heart. That sounds really cringe, but I have. Oh, and she's just the cutest little Miss Lils. Girl. Big a girl, Miss Lils. Not sure you like to cuddle, don't you? There we go, she's back where she's meant to be, in her little safe space, her new safe space. I just wanted to have different safe spaces as well. So that's a little Thursday evening update and I hope she just comes even more out of her shell. That'd be really nice to see and more cuddles and more adventures and hopefully she goes to the ladies room and eats some food. But definitely before, well I say like the evening, the next day, whatever. I just really wanted to eat and go to the ladies room, so hopefully she will. And fingers crossed, because I'm always gonna be very, very concerned. But those are my thoughts. Thursday, we still got the whole, you know, whole week left and just overall general might take a few weeks, who knows. Happy Saturday, gorgeous people. Time for a Lily update. So I haven't got her with me right now. She's in her hut, like you saw. So the update has been, we've had her for five days now because it's Saturday. I didn't update you with her last night just because I was having a very long work day. I didn't get home until 7.30, 8, I'm not too sure. And then it was like tea, have a look at Lil's, check on her and yeah it was really really dark so i'm here the next day to update you with everything lily so she is absolutely amazing and beautiful and i love her so much she has literally filled that little cat shaped hole in my heart ever since my last cat passed away and i haven't had an indoor cat for a while guys she's actually indoor outdoor but we're not at that stage yet so we'll see how that goes on but i definitely feel like she is gonna be 
in her element here because where she formerly was she had um, two other cats which was her mum and her brother I'm pretty sure and then two dogs and I've noticed that whenever we leave the room or open the door she's very spookish and skittish so it's probably a little bit of an adjustment for her to get used to not having dogs around not being scared so it's I think it's actually gonna be really good for her just to have her own little vibe and honestly whenever we get her out and just scratch her so basically Wednesday night because remember I was getting a little bit nervous on Tuesday like is she gonna come out is she scared she's panting which is obviously the first day and I was putting my expectations very high on her <laughs> but she was honestly just moved to a whole different environment and we got her out Wednesday evening and give her a little scratch give her a little cuddle and she was in her, her element she was just purring and rolling over and being very dog like she was doing a little infinity sign like going back and forth and we were scratching her and she was purring so loudly we were like oh it's probably one of those moments when you're in the moment and she does something cute you look at each other and you're like did she just do that that was the cutest thing ever and oh my god if you know how long i've wanted like a British short hair. I'm just in love with the breed. I love how like chunky they are, their eyes. And she's not a full British short hair, she's a cross, but she is honestly the most beautiful cat. Every person that I show her to, they're like, oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Because she's not grey, she's not beige, and then her tail's like a little choppy, stripy moment, and she's just so adorable. She has such personality on her, that like, she's just so like loves attention. She isn't too fond of being picked up too much i feel like she feels like she's getting moved again maybe it's just a trigger from being moved here maybe i definitely feel like over the next few days again or in the next week or so she's going to feel a lot more at home her favorite places are the radiator and her hut actually last night i saw her hut was actually squished so i think she likes sitting on top of a hut the only behavior that little miss lil needs a little naughtiness to telling off she goes behind the telly which she could knock over at any time she has ripped up my carpet a little bit not loads but i don't know why she isn't using the cat scratching pole maybe her former cat scratching pole looked like my carpet and she absolutely loves ripping up my carpet not loads um, but if she continues to do it, it's going to create a hole but i don't mind as long as she's happy but just to let you know she's been scratching up my carpet which is great um, but the main concerns was her not eating and not going to the ladies room so since then I swapped her over to the Purina adult biscuits and she's been eating it was such a moment when you, when you hear her eat like crunching away in the corner and I've moved the food and the water bowl away from each other that was another thing that has helped so she eats over there and the funny thing is when whenever you scratch her as well she eats a few biscuits so you'll be scratching and she goes no, no, no like eats one or two when you're stroking her and then eats like a bit more like differently it's just funny whenever you like you scratch her and she's just eating one or two like out of happiness and then i've also got some cat milk so she hasn't had any of the cat milk which i don't i don't know how to tell when um cats have drunk i should really put a line on it or something and with water or the cat milk so a lot of the cat milk will hopefully move something around because she's been to the bathroom which is an absolutely amazing thing but she's only been for number one so we're waiting for miss lils to do her thing in the ladies room but i think eating the biscuits and having the milk will help move things along but again it's being in a different environment she's probably like what what's going on and she's just a little bit scared and obviously it's affecting her insides and her movements but if it continues i'll have to take her to the vets and see what's going on is she too anxious maybe it's just she just needs to chill more but i've got some catnip biscuits and i showed you those and she's just got lots of things on offer so i don't know why she hasn't moved what she needs to move so that is the lily update she is just getting used to her environment still she's definitely coming out of her shell 
being a little Miss Lil's and I'm just so happy with her. She definitely filled the little hole in my heart and I can't wait to literally create a TikTok and Instagram and everything for her because she is just so beautiful and I just can't wait to get to know her a bit more and just have that bond. I can't wait to have that little bond with her. She just needs to get used to me a little bit more. She definitely loves Luke to bits. So it was just really the stars, wasn't it? Luke and Lily, they're going to love each other to bits. But it's just so cute. I love her so much. I'm just so happy, guys. So thank you so much for tuning into this vlog. I've got a lot more content coming up to do with the requested videos, with like skincare and hauls and more exciting vlogs so thank you so much for putting them in the comment section down below let me know down below if you watch my content because it's really nice having a little community especially for any creators who just want to know their community so send me a little hi or like you enjoyed this video in the comment section down below and thank you so much for being here i really do appreciate it so much and i can't wait to see you in next week's video bye bye hi guys i'm okay and settling into my new home Please subscribe for more updates from Miss Leo's. I'm a chunky monkey.